Donald Trump wins the Iowa caucus last night, and as I predicted, Donald Trump and all the little trump fucks are crowing. Oh, big win for Donald Trump. He's got the momentum. He's going to win in 2024. Things are looking so bright for Donald Trump. But, but is it really? Is it really? I mean, when we get to 2024, the general election, one of the big things the Republicans have to count on in order to even show up is a great turnout. Now, in Iowa, there wasn't a great turnout. Now, granted, there was cold weather and snow, but these are Iowegians who are tenacious and follow their Lord and Savior, Donald Trump. They will get out and vote under any circumstances. But yesterday, only half as many people voted as normally do in that primary caucus. That's weird. Now, of those people that did come out and vote, only 50% came out and supported their Lord and Savior. You would think a superstar like Donald Trump would get more than that, but no, 50% of the state voted against Donald Trump. Then you have Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis. Ron was 30 points behind Donald Trump, and Nikki Haley was two points behind Ron DeSantis. Yet they both are acting like they got a big win. They've got a long road to hoe, but when they go to New Hampshire, things will be likely different. Ron DeSantis is only polling at 8% in New Hampshire, and Nikki Haley is behind Donald Trump by 11 points. The way this is all shaking out, Donald Trump will be the nominee, but again, the question is, will he really be the nominee? There's a lot of things working against him. The Republicans can call this a big win, but it's not a big win. It doesn't fucking matter. They're big fish in a small pond, and they're grabbing on to any win they can possibly get because they're losing everywhere else.